So welcome to your next lab, the Rutherford Scattering Model Lab. So we're going to figure out what's on the inside of a box. We're going to figure out the size, shape, and location of this object in a box in much the same way that Ernest Rutherford discovered the nucleus by shooting alpha particles through gold foil. Here is a mock-up of their experimental design. We have a container that holds an alpha-emitting isotope like uranium-238. We have a very thin piece of metal foil. In the experiment, it was gold. I'm using copper here. And we also have a screen coated in zinc sulfide, which glows when hit with charged particles. The yellow represents the beam, which would be invisible to the eye of the alpha particles targeted towards the gold foil. Now you'll notice that the majority of the glow is on the opposite side of the gold foil. This would be like trying to shine a laser at a wall and having the laser light penetrate through the wall and to the other side without a hole being left in the wall. Now, if the atoms were mostly made of empty space, you would expect that all the alpha particles would pass right through. However, not all the alpha particles do pass right through. Some are scattered at wide angles and some of them even bounce directly back indicating that there is something inside an atom for the alpha particle to bounce off of and Rutherford referred to this as a nucleus and in so doing the nuclear atom was discovered. Well you will be carrying out a very similar experiment except instead of using extremely expensive equipment, you will be using a box. This box will have a ball rolled down a ramp into it, and you will take a look at what angle the ball bearing deflects at and use that to determine the size, shape, and location of the object in the box. Now, your box is going to have four sides. We will roll the ball in down side one first and see what angle the ball bounces off at. It may come directly back towards you. It may go straight through. It may deflect off at an angle. It may deflect off at a sharper angle. And using those angles of deflection, you will figure out the size, shape, and location of the object in the box. You will actually draw the path that your ball bearing takes using the uh, line tool in Kami to trace its path. If it goes in here and it comes out here, then draw a line that goes like this and connect it up with a line that goes like this. And you know that where the two lines intersect, there must have been a surface that the ball bearing hit. And then there'll be some questions for you to answer at the end. When you have figured out the size, shape, and location, what I want you to do is actually draw using the drawing tool. If you think it's a circle in the middle, draw a circle in the middle. If you think it's a semicircle out towards the edge, draw a semicircle out towards the edge. If you think it's a square in the other edge, you'll draw a square or maybe possibly a diamond shape, a square that's on an angle and you'll actually draw that on your lab. All right, now let's take a look at how this works. This is an atom. I know it doesn't look like an atom, but it's very much like an atom. We can't see what's inside of an atom. However, we can probe it to figure out its secrets, much in the way that Ernest Rutherford did. Ernest Rutherford, probed atoms using alpha particles and discovered a nucleus in the middle. About one out of every 20,000 alpha particles bounced off of something in the nucleus. The rest went right through the nucleus. Now, instead of a particle accelerator, we're going to use a ramp. And instead of alpha particles, we're going to use a ball bearing. And we're going to try to locate a shape within this atom. 
Now the shape could be a circle, a square, a semicircle. There are many different shapes that we could have inside of here. We need to locate where it is, how large it is, and what the shape is. And those are the three things we're going to find out. Now, in the case of Ernest Rutherford, most of the alpha particles just pass right through. So it would look like this. It just went right through without deflecting off anything. However, every once in a while, an alpha particle would bounce off of something in the atom, like this. And figuring out where this object was and how big it was was a relatively simple task once you'd gathered enough data. Now, other classes have gathered data to discover what the shape is inside this atom by tracking the path that the ball takes as it goes through, noting where it goes in and where and at what angle it comes out. And by using these drawings, they were able to determine the shape, the size, and the location of the object in the box. Now you're going to do the same thing using Kami. What you're going to do is use the line feature, create a line to show where it goes in and a line to show where and at what angle it comes out, and we will work our way along these four sides of this box to discover what this object is. I'm going to start here and I'm going to work my way across gradually side one and then I will turn it and then I will work my way across side two and then side three and then side four. All right, so I'm going to get you ready for this. Go ahead. And again, you can pause and rewatch if you missed. Now for side two. it came out right where it went in. It came out right where it went in. Side three.
And finally, side four. Okay, so that is all four sides. But just to be sure, let's do it one more time. Side one. Side two. Side three.
Side four.